Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to have a look at the arm motion and the golf swing. So when we, when we set up, we never wanna set up with the arms overly straight this way. We wanna have a little bit of flex in the arms, we wanna have them slightly bent, okay, so they're relaxed at the start. So from the back, they're gonna look slightly this way. They're not gonna look overly straight. There's gonna be a very small bend in them. Uh, the right one's probably gonna have a little bit more bend than the left one. So obviously from the front, they're still gonna look fairly straight, but there is that little bit of hinge that way in the arm. Okay, so that's my, my starting position. I don't wanna get this look here. I wanna be more this way, so I've got a little bit more, more gap in the, in between the elbows there. Um, so by getting the arms in a more relaxed position, I can, I can really get them swinging, get the club head started first in the, in the swing. So I never wanna be that way. I get the shoulders locked, okay, I get that rounded shoulders look, and then, then I get everything to, to one piece working away. We wanna get this, this sort of feeling, the arms are hanging more, slightly bent, especially the right, and then I can get the, get the club started first. Okay, the outside points, what we always wanna get started first, it's got further to go. So if we can get the arms in that position, we can get that, that motion. Now in the first part of the backswing, there is going to be a small amount of fold in the right arm. The right, the right uh, upper arm is going to stay on the body and the left arm is going to swing a bit across the chest. So there's the left arm swinging a little bit from the shoulder and the right one's hinging just slightly in the elbow until I get to this position here. So at that point, there's a small bend in the right elbow. The left arm swung a little bit from the, from the left shoulder, okay, until the club's about uh, parallel to the ground here. Now at this point, the arms are going to start working up. So the right arm is going to fold a little bit more as I work the club up. And the, the upper arm is going to work slightly away. So as that hinges up, the elbow works a bit away from the body. That way I can maintain the radius of the, the club head away from my sternum here. So I get into that position there. So it's a, although the club arcs around here, I'm swinging across the body. Now I start working the arms and club up a little bit. Okay, and it's done through that right arm, just working up this way. Left arm's gonna follow. I get into that position at the top. Now, for most of you, when, you, when you're making this movement, you'll find that when the, when the hands are about, uh, I would say chest height, they're also opposite the chest, okay? Won't be the case for everyone. Some might be slightly more behind or in front, but it's more or less gonna be in that position. We certainly don't want to get this look here, okay? Where the, where the arms just follow the body behind and the right elbow gets behind the body, okay? I'm trapped behind that way. I want to make sure that my right arm, as it hinges up, works the club up, okay? So they're start, starting to work the club up over my right shoulder at the top of the back swing here. So from the front angle, it's gonna look this way as I, as I work the club up with the arms, okay? And to the top of the back swing position here, you can see that you can still see the whole of my right arm if I take my left arm away there, okay? So the elbow stayed out in front of me this way. You never want to get this look where the, el the elbow uh, disappears behind the body, okay? That normally happens when the right arm over hinges. So really, although there is some fold in the right arm, you can see it's really only about a right angle here, if that, okay? And then the left arm is going to be working across my chest this way, so I've got some connection with the left arm on my chest. Okay, now when I'm starting down, I want to feel that the arms are, are dropping back down before I turn too much. Okay, so from the back angle, it's gonna look this way as I drop the arms down. Again, you can see my hands in front of my body here, okay, into, into, the, into the hitting position here. So my right arm is starting to slowly come back onto, the, onto their body, but I don't want the right arm to get jammed up this way, too narrow in this way. Okay, you can see that structure, the right arm ma is maintained. As it starts to come back onto the body, it starts to straighten slightly. So that way I'm maintaining the radius of the swing. Okay, and from the back, I'm gonna keep those hands in front of my body coming down. You can see how the club head stays behind as the hands work in front, as I get into the hitting position. Now, as I work down into impact, my arms are still swinging across my body. Obviously, I want to lean the shaft when I'm hitting an iron this way. And because you see the right arm has straightened somewhat, but there is still some flex in it at this point, okay? Even when I come through, I don't wanna overextend this right arm. That's gonna, that's gonna cause me to flip. The club head is gonna be working around to the left the right arm's gonna look fairly straight, but not overextended, okay? Again, we wanna maintain that radius, even, even on the through swing, and that helps us maintain the correct path. So from the back angle, as the club works around, 
can still see there is still some bend in that right arm as I'm hitting. The left arm is, is hanging, okay? So the, the, my left hand is under my left shoulder. Everything's starting to work around to the left now. The right arm is gonna extend a little bit more. But like I said, I don't want that, that arm to overextend out this way and flip the club. There is some extension in the right arm, but the club head is working around in an arc this way behind the body. So now as I work up, now the left arm is gonna work a little bit away from the body and fold. Okay, it doesn't want to stay too straight for too long, or the club here is going to stay too open, you're going to hit too many shots out to the right. Okay, and you're also going to cost yourself distance. So as that left arm comes around into impact, you can see the arm and club are in line at impact. They stay in line till this point here, and then the left arm starts to fold. Okay, you can see the, the back of my left hand is pointing behind me now, and that, that elbow is working away from the body, I'm getting that fold. So the right arm is just going to help me maintain the radius. Okay. Now I think when we're hitting irons, we really, we want to, really want to feel that we're getting into this position here at the end. So both arms are fairly soft, but you've still got that shaft away from the, from, the, from the shoulder here. So looking at front on as I come around, the club is working around me this way. You can see the left arm is starting to fold. Right arm is extended somewhat, but it's not overly stiff and straight. I get into that finished position. So you can see at the finish, my hands are going to be a little bit left of my body center. Okay, they're above my left shoulder, so they're going to be above the, the so they're going to be to the side of my, of my body as well. So that's really where we want to, we want to get into that, that finished position here, okay, where the hands are left of the body center.